after all the errors and blunders which happened to me, I was referred to a counsellor. I saw the counsellor. I was bringing in all the errors and blunders, like mistakes, what they've made with me. And she said that she can she couldn't deal with it any longer. She said it's unreal that she can't believe so many errors and blunders has happened to me. Because I brought in paperwork, I showed her the paperwork and everything. And she said she'll refer me for outside counselling. It was too much for her to deal with on her own. So for three years I was waiting for outside counselling and nothing, not a word from them. Kept seeing my GP, nothing. Then out of the blue one day, a letter arrived from the GP saying that he didn't think it was a good idea that I had counselling, that I need, it would be better if I saw a psychiatrist because too much has happened and he don't fit he don't feel that counselling is the appropriate way of going about this, that I do need to see a psychiatrist. So I agreed to see a psychiatrist and I was waiting, waiting, a letter come through the post with an appointment from the psychiatrist in the wrong name. This I was rather shocked really, so I rang up the psychiatrist well, he's secretary, and I spoke to the secretary, and she told me, she's awfully sorry, she had put it in the right name. Can I have your name? I gave her my name again. A week later, different name again. Now, this carried on for nine occasions. So I didn't attend to any meeting. So apparently, one week he came round, I was doing dialysis in the hospital when the psychiatrist came with the counsellor to see me. And he talked to me by my bedside, which weren't very confidential really. So I didn't tell him too much because like, there's a lot of people like in my ward, they're listening in. So I says, I told him basic stuff really, but I didn't tell him important stuff. So when I got home, Two days later, I received a letter with a report of what I had told him. But the things what I told him, they, were, they weren't the things what I discussed with him. He just put what he wanted in the letter, what he thought appropriate for himself. So I wasn't too happy with that, so I rang up to make another appointment after telling him like nine letters in the wrong name he just said that he was awfully sorry and he can't see how this came about and anyway a long story short I rang up his secretary told her I've had letters in the wrong name and I would like to see him personal in private so I went and I saw him in private and talked about what I wanted to tell him about and he seems to think that I have to let it go at my brain otherwise I can't move on with my life but what he doesn't seem to realize I'm the one who's suffering without any kidneys you see and he's done me a report the first report which he done around the bedside and that's in the wrong name also so I don't know where it's going, you know, I try to get help from the psychiatrist because I'm really bitter and I don't want nothing to happen and all of a sudden he's putting it in the wrong name again. But I've got nine letters in the wrong name and one report in the wrong name. After speaking to them on the phone for a matter of hours and hours, like no end to the matter explaining that the name what they've given me is not my name. So, eventually they got my name right. I went in there and done the report and now I'm waiting for the other report now to find out what's going to happen or what he's said or what he hasn't said. So I just thought I'll add that to the story.
that I can't get help from anybody in this matter. It seems like they can't get my name right for some unknown reason, you know. So hopefully, one day they will get my name right. Because they need to be exposed for what they're doing is mental torture. And the public need to know what's going on. Because they're unaware of what can happen. If it happens once or twice, I can understand errors do occur. But this is happening constantly. So hopefully the letters here will be published so that you can see the names is not my name. Okay. I just thought I'd like to add that. No more. All has been said now. Let's wait back and see what's going to happen next, the next stage of my life. Whether I'm going to obtain a kidney or whether they're going to give me a move from that hospital. I've been waiting three years to move. I've had the Citizen Ed Files Bureau writing them a letter explaining that I don't want to be there. I've had my GP writing to them explaining that I don't want to be there. I've had my kidney doctor explaining to them that I do not want to be there. And I've had the psychiatrist explaining and writing them letters. I do not want to be in that hospital anymore. I'm frightened for my life. 